Furbies. Yep. Well, yeah. Now it's a seven. Flame cow pool cookies. And uh, <laughs> not ultimately uh, about sci fi in any way. Um, I think now that it's almost a variety thing anyway, that's what the show was, so there's. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna go and check the dealer's room briefly, and then, and then I'm gonna go over the anime. Go for two seconds, and then I'm gone. <laughs> gonna get this one. That's what I thought it was. And now, yes, yes, yes. Here we go. It's, it's uh, recording. It's red. Big. But uh. It's gone. So I'm gonna go back in and look around. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Um, yes. Yeah, go over this way. So discreet. Let's keep it on. This is where we, I came in before, and um, this way is, uh, I don't want to just have static shots, you know, it's just uh, people walking by. I want you to photo bomb me. This is uh, anime, and uh, lots of people want to. That's the other way. We're going to get food. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the uh, Sorry, guy. You know, we, we, we should go. Yes, yeah, so other guys. I don't think he's in it anymore. Anyway. These kids are over here. Look at this. There is a battle going on over here. You may want to see that. I didn't get close enough last year. Yeah, yeah. Or the year before, I mean. Yes, yeah, so this character is not dressed up enough. <laughs> he's, he's just this guy. Like, what is it, dude? He's just dressed up like normal. Well, he's wearing a belt. Here's a weird angle. <laughs> the guy's name, but I should. Now here in the main field, we have out in the courtyard. It's uh, right there. It's this other one. This is Winchester. Oh. Anyways. Yeah, getting out and publishing a publishing stories for real now that, that they, as they said, the panel think the Wild West. Hilarious uh, thing of uh, diorama over here. I'm going to get a shot of that before we go to that other panel. Yeah. That shirt from the uh, store. So, I'm going to go up there to the Lafayette room and watch that thing. Hmm. 
again. This is, oh, yes, so, yeah, so. Here's the hat. Greetings. Glasses. Ooh. Who's Waldo? An actual other kitty key. Oh, oh wow. Look at that. I just saw it fallen. I think. I think I just saw another patient. Look right. Oh, that's good. Ah. They were really <laughs> So there are more people on Saturday. So I just got out of a panel on on our multi-part movies, good or bad, or multi-part movie adaptions of stories, good or bad. Uh, mainly, it was on Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. With a little bit of Twilight and a little bit of Divergent. And yeah, it was interesting because originally the panel started out with two people. I was in it. I wasn't in the panel, but there were two people. And then and then and then um, three or four more came about halfway through and then finally they had six people in there. And the panelists, uh, they, one of the panel ladies showed up uh, about five minutes into it, ten minutes into it. And she was a lively one, so they were like going on about the the guest, the guest speaker was the, the lively one. That's good. And so yeah, uh, that was cool. What panel and yes, so yes, and they were talking about young adult fiction. And, uh, and, and, uh, as you know, Cal Catter. I've, I've done some young age fiction, uh, the uh, fictional adventures, for instance, which some of my characters ended up online randomly, and uh, they're not me. Um, yeah, I've renamed them, but I haven't been able to option that as a uh, that series as a actual publishable work. 
because it is so close to the actual Pinewood stuff location, it's sort of on location that it, even even under the semester's premise, it's called Evergreen. People would know from looking at it that it is that, and like the original silly track in Star Trek meets on location, versus to Kaimara and Mary Sue as well. Uh, they would know that I was doing them, and they would read that and go like, "Okay, you can't use me in there. That's clearly my character or whatnot." <laughs> so yeah, that's why that has not been option. Story. So, yeah, we will not see the fictional adventures as a series in the foreseeable future, unless it was completely radically changed. It's radically changed, and it's no longer about Pine Hill. So, there you go. Uh, next panel will probably be on a writing workshop. Uh, yeah, so. mm, silly Kelly here. With a quick costume change. Because, yeah, he's funnier than Captain Kirk. So there, I guess that'll go to another panel, so, and, yeah, do that, see what happens. But, but, but do not try the banana nut muffins, it tastes nasty. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't get through the banana nut muffins. Absolutely horrible, and, and I spit it up in the bathroom. It's earlier, it's in like, it's like, ugh, I had a chocolate muffin. It literally tasted like it didn't have any taste to it. It was like the cardboard around it, really gross. And then like, and then like, ooh, then there was this guy in the restroom. He was like, ah, oh, did you try the hamburger? Is that it? And I was like, no, nah, it was the muffin. So he's like, don't try the hamburger. That's a bad idea. <laughs> Because <laughs> I know they had the hammer. It's scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the prices, it's ridiculous. And then I eat a bag of chips. Just walk it along. Drop one on the floor. I said, I said, take that out of I said, I would rather ground it into the ground. But I didn't do that. Because um, <laughs> being snarky is an art form. Art. It's all about me anyway. It's interesting to see a furry at Nacon. Oh! Oh, I didn't know that. Totally naughty 
going to do that. We're going to be an insane motion. Of